title is Sarada Through My Eyes. Um, the caption for the picture is on page. Um, 930, to many people, is just a number of an apartment, but to me it's more than that. I have been living here for 18 years. It's not one of the nice looking apartments in my neighborhood, but I am just thankful for the roof over my head. Um, my father and sister also live in the same apartments, but I honestly never felt close to my cousins. When I was young, I seriously felt like a prisoner in my own home. Now that I'm older, I can go out at times, but it's like I'm so chained, like just like a dog, and I can only go so far. I have bitter sweet memories of my home. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here, but when the time comes for me to leave, I know I'm going to miss it. The next picture is of, the caption is my sanctuary. Um, Jerome Center, um, this is the, well, it was and still is my safe haven. That's what I call. This was always my my excuse to get out of my home. Um, I'm grateful for a special friend of mine. Um, her name is Anna. She asked me um to join the program with her, and we were walking by with her mom, just walking by, and we saw that they were gonna open the program. Inside the recreation center was this program called Teen Space. Um, throughout the program, I have met so many incredible tutors and youth. Um, I got help with. Um, homework assignments, and I was also helped with college information. Uh, this program has given me so many resources I needed. Um, I feel like not a lot of youth are aware of the resources they have in the community, and I feel like if I wasn't aware of this program, I wouldn't like been where I am right now. I would have been stuck with college stuff and other things. The senior center. Um, the caption is a place with different meanings. Um, um, the famous senior center, according to myself, I should say. Um, this place was so many things to me. When, when I was young, it was this place where I got free gifts during the Christmas year at the center. Um, when I got older and started volunteering, it was the area where I went to do the cooking program and I got to eat. <laughs> the people that know me are aware that I love to eat. <laughs> um, it also became the spot where I went to the, um, get snacks at the vending machine. Um, after being there so many times, I don't think I ever saw any seniors citizens. I think they were sleeping. Um, the caption is the union of a community. This Catholic church is near where I live. Um, there's a smaller church but um, in the same location, but it was just a um, small church and they had to, they're still there, but they had to rebuild, I guess, a bigger one for more people. I went there when I, when I was young a lot. I also keep in mind that well, like one time when I went with my grandparents, I went to church um, with my whole family. Um, my grandma pinched me <laughs> during church because according to her, I wasn't paying attention. I always wonder why, um, I don't know, families are so serious in church. They just want you to be quiet and stuff, and pay attention. Well, we don't, well now that I'm older, we don't go to church as often, but my mom still is very Catholic and so does Alex. The bus has basically been my main transportation since I was an intermediate through high school. Um, the sex surprises have raised a lot since I was, yeah, they were just a lot <laughs> um, throughout the years. Um, um, yeah, a lot of people use the bus for school, individuals who need to go to work. Um, some of the bus drivers are nice and others are not. <laughs> I recall one time when I was young, I was on the bus with my mom and she got out first and when I was going to get out, the doors closed on me and I was squished in between. Uh, that, was, um, that was traumatizing. <laughs> and I remember when, um, I don't know, I got out of the bus and then my mom, uh, for some reason, I don't know why, she got in an argument with the bus driver, but the bus driver flipped her off, flipped her a finger. I don't know why. Um, a girl from my school, um, when I, well, I already graduated from school, she asked me, aren't you scared riding on the bus? I responded saying no. Um, there's been a thing I haven't seen or experienced before in the bus.